in 2021, Berwick Community TV celebrates 10 years in operation. Our first equipment was purchased in November 2011. That is 10 years of providing Berwick residents near and far with live and recorded coverage of town and school board meetings along with local events. Programming is seen on two Comcast channels, our YouTube page and through the BCTV On Demand page on the town's website. Over the last 10 years, we have strived to increase our live coverage of meetings and events, ensure that residents in Berwick have an opportunity to see, hear, and participate in their local government, provide coverage and PSAs for town departments, MSAD 60 schools, and organizations, and offer a public access station where resident voices can be heard. As a public access station, Berwick Community TV has always been completely funded through the franchise fees received from Comcast. This is an annual fee charged by the Town of Berwick to Comcast for using public property Berwick owns as right-of-ways for its cable. Franchise fees depend on cable subscribers only. This does not include internet-only customers. We are a commercial-free and show videos without interruption. We provide a slideshow every three hours informing viewers of meeting times, local nonprofit information and events, holiday closures, voting updates, and special dates to remember. This is a free service provided to all nonprofits and community groups in and around Berwick. It also includes statewide programs and services available to residents. During COVID-19, BCTV stepped up to the plate and were one of the first stations in Maine to offer a hybrid meeting format. We created public service announcements and slides to inform on everything from free meals to operations in town. BCTV provides an emergency information ticker that scrolls across the bottom of screens to all town departments. With COVID-19, the tickers notified and informed residents of changes to office hours, how to access services, how to find meetings, and many other bits of information that need to get out quickly. In programming both channels, I try to maintain a 70% public educational and or governmental programming, and 30% of the videos are by other public access stations, along with the public domain movies and shows. The BCTV committee consists of five residents who meet with the director to review budget, operations, and goals. Oh my, how we have grown. We have two stations. Comcast Channel 22 is public educational, and Comcast Channel 95 is government only. Both channels stream 24 hours a day, seven days a week at www.berwicktv.org. We now have a full-time director, a part-time 15 hour per week assistant director and a broadcast technician slash slideshow creator. In 2012, we produced fewer than 60 videos, including government meetings. According to a search in archive.org in 2019, we live streamed and recorded 179 videos. In 2019, our YouTube channel received 4,234 views from January to October this year, we went up by over 50% with 10,601 views. In 2019, our on-demand site views were 2,930. This year, we have almost doubled that with 5,540 views. Our archive.org site has had 8,400 views combined. Since 2018, we have produced 526 videos which can be streamed from YouTube and www.archive.org by searching for Berwick Community TV. We started producing a weekly program called BCTV News. This series provided information updates on town notices, events, and highlights of BCTV productions. We included COVID-19 updates for York County and Berwick. Due to time constraints, we stopped producing the program in November. However, we hope to pick this back up again in March. Every year, BCTV has managed to roll over funds received from franchise fees into the next year's budget. I began volunteering with BCTV in 2012. 
Over the last eight years, I've worked hard to provide a public access station that Berwick residents can depend on and go to for government meetings and local events. Almost all the goals outlined in BCTV Operational Plan of 2014 have been met. I am still seeking to establish a network of volunteers through a mentor program or the schools, and I hope to establish training for residents wishing to get involved. However, both may need to wait for the end of COVID-19. I am also working on a three to five year operational plan that will provide guidance for our growth and continued operations. These items will help us keep moving forward and hopefully keep BCTV around for another 10 years. Capital expenditures this year include an APC backup battery system. This will protect our servers from power surges and outages. Our old backup battery was not powerful enough to handle both channels and both streaming servers. In the next year, we're looking to purchase a few new streaming cameras. This will enable us to produce more live programming for our viewers. We are still using three of the original cameras purchased for recording government meetings back in 2011. Another capital project will be installing a camera in the cupola at the top of the town hall. This will take pictures of the prime site every 10 minutes and will be displayed on our webpage. We need to run electricity and cable up to that space and then back down to our control room. In February, we set up a new TV in the lobby area of the town hall. This will run throughout the day, showing informational slides on upcoming events and dates to remember, as well as public service announcements that inform visitors on where to find information, special places to visit in town, and how to access services.